Welcome in the 10th episode. Today we will finish implementing the square selection logic. So if you remember from the last episode, we have implemented the selection of the single square. So now you are able to click on the square and select it. And as you see, the square is changing color. So after today episode, you will be able to select the square and then drag your mouse across and select the whole line. And when you release your mouse, everything will be going, going back to the white color. If you want to help support this channel, please consider subscribing. You can hit the subscribe button below this video and turn on notification so you will not miss any future video I release. Okay, so let's open our Unity now and let's go back to, to the scripts folder and we will have to add one more class. So select the scripts folder and then right click create C -sharp script and I will call it word checker. And then let's open the script now. Okay, so let's first of all remove all of these comments and I will just add one more variable, one more public variable right at the top, public, game data, and this is gonna be the current game data. Current game data, and then let's add one more private variable, private string, and I will call it word. Okay, so right above the start method, I will add two more methods. So the first one will be on enabled, so private void on enabled. And then let's add on disable. On disable. Okay, we need to put we need to listen for the events in those two methods. So I will just uh, inside the on enable method, I will put the game events dot and let's just find out which uh, event we want to listen to. We want to listen for the check square. So we want to listen on check square. Okay. So let's switch back to the word checker. So the game event dot on check square plus equal. And I will call this function square selected. Square selected. And let's copy this line of code and then paste it inside the on disable and then change this plus to minus. So we want to unsubscribe from this event. So now let's go ahead and implement the square selection function. I will scroll right at the bottom and below the update method, I will add private void and we need to pass the right parameters in. So let's just double check what the parameters are required. So we just select this event press F12 and I will copy all of these parameters list. So you need to make sure you have the same parameter list as the event you subscribing to. Okay, so let's switch back to the word checker, selected square and then paste these parameters in. And then below the square selected function, I will create one more function. So let's put private void check word. Check word. And now we want to look through all of the all of the letters. So for each, and there's gonna be the current current game data dot selected selected board data dot search words searching word. Okay, so we wanna we want to have this for each loop, so we're going to loop through all of the words. And then if the word is equal to searching word dot word, we're going to we're going to implement some winnings event. But this is going to be in the in the later episodes because we don't have a structure for it yet. So for now, I will just return. Okay, so let's leave it like that. And then we of course can, can set this word to be equal to string dot empty. So we just want to restart this word. Okay, so this check word function will be called from within our square selected. So when we select the square, we want to check the word. So I will just copy this function and paste it here. And then we want to of course our uh, add our letter to the word so word 
plus equal letter and then we want to before that we want to call the game events dot select square method and we want to pass the position which is going to be our square position from the from the function okay so that's pretty much it what we want to what we want to do from this class at this moment okay so there is one more thing we need to do in our grid square class so let's switch back to our grid square class and let's scroll right at the top and we want to add one more variable which is uh, the correct so private bool and I will call it correct and let's set this correct to be equal to false in our start method so let's go to the start method oh yeah we have it here and let's put our correct to be equal to false and then let's go now to the on disable square selection function and let's add the f statement so if the correct is equal to true so if this uh, the selected letters are correct we want to get the display image dot sprite would be equal to correct letter data dot image and then otherwise we want to tune it to the normal so display displayed image dot sprite would be equal to normal letter data dot image so now let's save everything and let's go back to unity and see what we get so let's pl press play actually before we press play we need to attach the script to our game so let's click on our words grid and let's grab our word checker and drop it into the words grid and now let's go to our resources data and then current game data let's drag it and drop it into the current game data onto the word checker okay so everything is initialized now so let's press play and now let's see what we get so when we select the square we can now drag and as you see we are selecting like a multiple squares at the same time and when you release your button everything is going back to normal so this is exactly what we want to have but uh, there are a few issues with this implementation as you see we can select like almost every single square on the board if we're holding the mouse down so this is not really what we want to do we're going to solve this issue by implementing the race so every time you select this, the square there will be like a six rays fired from the center of the square and it's going to show you where you can actually highlight which square you can highlight along the ray so this is what we're going to do in the next episode so I think that's it for today's episode. If you have any questions, any problem, please leave me comments below this video. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again in the next episode.